We've got this clip courtesy of the Rolling Stone magazine that features the one and only the beautiful Ray talking about, you know, the lack of recognition for songwriters, obviously with herself being a songwriter and contributing to some really big hits out there. Um, I think she's got a lot of credits on the new Beyonce Cowboy Carter album. So she's definitely speaking up well for the songwriters out there. And to me, this is another example as to why the music industry really is hell. It really is a sad, sadistic, cold place. And I think a lot of us, if we love artists and stuff, we love music, we have to really kind of give a lot of these artists a lot of praise for even still making music, for even still being around. Because for the most part, most artists aren't making much money. And if they're doing it, most of them are doing it for the love of the game. Most of them are making barely, barely minimum wage, right? And they're literally doing it for the love of the game. Nothing else. They're doing it for pure self-expression reasons, just to get their voice out there, just to get their message heard, to spread whatever sounds that they want to spread around the world. But it isn't to be rich and famous because the actual people responsible for writing the tunes, as Ray's going to mention here, don't actually get paid well or at all or even on time. Let's hear Ray talk about standing up for songwriters. There are some incredibly, stupidly, ridiculously talented people who can't pay their rent who are writing these songs and it's incorrect and it's wrong. It is just evil, if I'm going to be transparent. Mm -hmm. It is so bad what is going on behind the scenes in the music game. And having started as a songwriter, you know, professionally from the ages of about 14 and 15 when I'd started writing, you know to experiencing just like wait so you write the song but they don't pay you but they pay the producers and then you have to wait two years to to collect pennies and you only make money off radio play i was like wait what uh. which also is affecting the art because then it means that songwriters are like well we need to write a radio hit because that's the only way we're going to make money and it's dangerous it's really dangerous also for for the for the quality and the intention of what we're creating as songwriters you know that's very true and it probably explains why music is the way it is at the moment so for all that needs to be said there's you know james blake was out here trying to create like a new platform which is basically another version of patreon to get people fucking you know to get artists money and shit the main issue at hand i feel like the music industry is broken because the record labels have a stranglehold on the majority of the money that's coming in for the music the streaming platforms are in cahoots to the record labels and the artists get a fraction of the money that they make from the fucking record and the other people have to fight for scraps. That's essentially what's happening. So there's something fundamentally wrong with how music is... Because it's a weird place, isn't it? Because music is the only industry where you make something but you don't get the majority of the money that you make that you, for your art. Whereas in every other like art form, you get the majority of the money for the art that you make. But in music, it's not like that. If you make the music, even if you write, produce, you know, mix, master the whole thing yourself, you still end up getting less of a percentage of this thing that you made than the person that publishes it, the person that distributes it, whatever streaming platform is pretty fucking heinous when you think about it. And it is almost downright evil because the people who are creating the work don't get anything from it, don't get any reward. And then it doesn't give you an incentive to create more. And then if you want to create more, you end up creating these horrible pop records that are really microwave cookie cutter shit that nobody needs. But you do it because it's the lowest hanging fruit. It's what people want at the moment. But then it kills you spiritually and creatively. Uh, so it kills you spiritually and obviously creatively. And then obviously for the public, you don't end up creating amazing work that's going to inspire people to make new things. So you're essentially then weirdly in a roundabout way impacting future generations who aren't able to listen to that cool shit that they want to hear from you so it's a cyclical thing it's a horrible situation and the only way to really fix it isn't to create these shitty apps that james blake is doing in collaboration with this company called vault right he did this whole rollout where he was crying and complaining about his songs not being released and then the next week he found this quote-unquote solution which is basically another version of fucking patreon that's not what needs to be done what needs to be done is fixing the actual institutions and structures that already exist so that they favor or that they give more of a lion's share of whatever money that comes in to the people that actually make the art, 
lot of people just pressing the buttons or, you know, in the suits behind the scenes and shit, the guys and girls who can't dance. No, no, no. The person that actually makes the art should recreate, should receive most of the money from making it. Um, especially if their fans are the ones buying it and stuff and want to, you know, support them and it's not going to them. It's fucking, it's fucking heinous. It really is heinous. So I'm really glad to hear Ray talking about it, especially given her platform, especially given her level of fame, especially given her background. She hasn't forgotten her roots. So it's good to see her speaking up for song and singers and songwriters is out there because they need to be spoken up for because they need to be spoken up for 